sir welcome to my channel natural biology in my previous class i have completed the pathway of air now i am going to discuss about the lungs structure of lungs so this information is not given but the little information is given in our textbook uh, in the form of do you know so that is why we will discuss a very detailed manner okay let's start in human beings how many lungs are present a pair of lungs are present which are located in the thoracic cavity so this cavity is called the thoracic cavity it is also known as chest cavity and if we talk about their shape they are cone shaped organs so i will write here okay a pair of lungs are present okay they are cone shaped cone shaped organs superior side they are narrow Divided into parts, so that part is called the lobe. I think, why do this left lung 
most of the area of the heart is tilted toward the left side so that is why here it is giving space for the heart idi heart ki place ni provide chestundi kabatti adi koncham chinna ga untundi okay right so left one is little smaller than the right one because it provides space for the heart now the right lung is divided into three parts okay one Left lung is divided into only two parts. In the left is the part left lung. In the more right lung. Okay. How many parts present in the right lung? Three parts are present. In the face for nine. Superior part. Okay. Superior part. And this is the inferior one. And it is the middle one. Okay. Lobe side means the organ is divided into lobe. Inferior lobe, is inferior lobe, and it is a middle lobe. Whereas here only superior lobe, inferior lobe. It is superior lobe and all. It is the inferior lobe and all. The division is the only partition that could have a name only. So that is called fissure. Here, what are the fissure? Left lung is divided by oblique fissure. Here, what is it? left 
one is divided into two lobes. Okay, the lobes you can name for the eye. Like the superior lobe, middle lobe, inferior lobe. Here are the only superior lobe, inferior lobe. So fissures name is for the one right. Right lung is divided by oblique fissure and horizontal fissure, whereas left lung is divided by only oblique fissure. Right lung will not give space for the heart, but left lung is going to provide space for the heart. So we will talk about four or five points that we are going to discuss today. So let us discuss about the structure of epiglottis and its role in respiration. Okay? Let's see the beautiful two diagrams are there here. Then 
what is it direct the food into the food pipe so this this traffic of air and the food is kept proper by this little structure which is called as epiglottis okay. so proper functioning of this epiglottis nervous regulation is important so nervous regulation is important for its proper functioning but sometimes tine tapudu vadu chustam vidu chustam maatladam hari bari ga untam so atavanti time lo em jarige avakasalu untayi when our nervous system nervous regulation sometimes fails okay if sometimes it not concentrate on epiglottis then adi edu moyadam kaasa aapestadi so then what happens small particles of food may get enter into the okay ee velle food okay wind pipe lo velle avakasam undu okay actually the food food pipe lo vella it should move into the food pipe but little amount of food also get enter into the wind pipe appudu telustayi manaki amma saram pattindanta what it is it is called choking